Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com and Weddings by Heather TV. In this video, I want to show you how to create a droplet. Droplets are essentially automated actions. So you might want to take an action that you use all of the time or on several photos and apply them to an entire folder of photos. So in this case, what we're going to do is create a black and white droplet. I deliver all of the files to my clients in both color and black and white, so I find this very handy. The first thing I'm going to do is run my black and white action. I can see it in my actions palette. The keyboard shortcut is F2. So I'm going to go ahead and run that action and turn this photo black and white. And the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this action. I'm going to click and drag it to the new actions button at the bottom of the actions palette. And I'm going to rename it by double clicking it. And rather than black and white copy, let's name this black and white droplet. I'm going to expand that action by clicking on the arrow to the left. And I'm going to scroll down to the very last step. I'm going to add a few steps to this action. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. And what I'm going to do is flatten this image, save it, and close it. So on the Mac, that's Command E or Control E on the PC to flatten or merge those layers. I'm going to press Command S. It's Control S to save. And then I'm going to press Command or Control W to close. And I'm going to stop recording the action. So essentially, I've just added three steps. Merge the layers, save the photo, close the photo. Now this droplet is ready to be created. I'm going to go to my File menu and choose Automate, Create Droplet. So I'm going to choose a place to save this in and I'm going to save it just, um, you can put these anywhere. Obviously I'm going to put this right in that folder for now. I'm going to replace it and I'm going to make sure that I have selected the action set weddings by Heather black and white, and I'm going to choose the action black and white droplet. Now I don't check any of these boxes because I've built this all into the action itself. There are a few different ways to do this. This is just the way that I found works best for me. I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, and at that point, the droplet has been created. So let's jump over to Finder. And in Windows, obviously, that would be Windows Explorer. And I want to take this folder of photos from her senior session. And I want to create them all as black and white. So I deliver these to her. Um, oh, let me start over. <laughs> I retouch them. And so they're already in color. Then I make a duplicate copy of that folder. And I take that folder, in this case it's named Kennedy, and I drag it over to the droplet. And when I let go, what happens is Photoshop opens all of the photos one at a time, changes them to black and white, Flatten, save, close. Next, flatten, save, close. Next. <laughs> and when I have four to 600 photos from a wedding, I find this to be very convenient because I can go work on something else. Now, I'm going to jump back to Finder for just a second. Um, the reason you see two icons here is because this is the actual droplet where it says simple BW. But on my other machine, the droplets show up as an icon like this. And I just wanted to make that differentiation. Um, depending on your operating system, you may see it a little bit differently. So I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.